my, my goal to, to transform myself was a couple things. I mean, uh, it had been a long time coming. I'd needed to do it for a while, and it got to a point where it was starting to limit activity, and it wasn't very healthy. And, and then I got a call from the producer of my show. For our season three, they wanted my character Sheldon to join sports, and they wondered if I could, you know, shed some weight. And that was all the extra initiative I needed. Scott, you're going too slow. It's too easy. <laughs> Come on. I think even this one, man, is getting a little too easy. Well, there's a few, man. Come on, you gotta admit it. You know, we can up it about, we can up another 15 pounds. That's right, it's too easy, we up it up. The team I have here uh, was introduced to me like the first day I got here. It's basically Sebastian, who's my trainer, and Nick helps me whenever I'm gonna do the detox, and I'm probably gonna do it again at some point. George is, you know, my uh, nutritionist, dietitian, whatever you call it. And Johnny here, he gives massages upstairs, and every time I accomplish a goal, they give me a massage, and that's incredible. You have no idea. And I actually, I just, I just missed one. I, I, I was off by a pound, I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, tough love. We'll do three minutes, right? Three minutes, last minute, we're gonna bring it up to 30, man. We've done it before, we can do it again, right? Yeah. Exactly. Of course. Don't hold on. Hold on. You know, it could be worse, we could be on like camera and somebody filming us, you know? My uh, part of the team here was being a personal trainer to Jesse. Um, I've known Jesse for a while and he came back to me. About February, he contacted me and he said he wanted to change his life. I uh, approached Anik, George, and Johnny and I said, guys, this is a big project. I want us to do this as a team, and I want him to succeed. And so far, we're doing so good. When we first did Jesse's fitness evaluation, part of that is we asked him about his habits with hydration, and his habits with nutrition, and his habits with exercise, and rest and recuperation, and his commitment to the whole thing. And so it was quickly apparent that he had really bad habits when it came to hydration. Essentially, what he was doing was feeding himself on soda. And he was eating a lot of big, uh, meals that were high in fat and high in sugar, highly processed, delicious, I'm sure, but he had created all these addictions to really, really bad foods and eating large quantities of food. At the beginning, uh, the ultimate goal for Jesse when he, he approached us and um, was to lose the weight. I think some of the biggest changes was mostly to eat three to five small meals throughout the day and to incorporate it while he's working out as well because he does need the fuel. So less is not better and more is not always better. So it's to find that right balance for him. By doing that, of course, the detox and also George of the dieting and then me training him at least four times a week and him on his own another two times a week. So he's doing six days a week. He only gets Sundays off and I'm on him. <laughs> I am so on him. Two, one, rock and roll. Go, go, go. Come on, reach. Good, keep going. 20 more seconds. Don't hold on, Jesse, don't hold on. Come on, 15 more seconds, that's all. 10 more seconds, man, let's go a little quick with the last 10. Come on, push, that's it. Concentrate on the breathing, push. Feel it, bring it down. Focus, you got it. There you go, really push through the heels. Up, 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 up. All right, got it. All right, next. I'm feeling great these days. I mean, you know, it's, it, it, it's a difference in so many different aspects of my life, like physically, you know, I can I can do things I've never done before or never felt comfortable doing. Like I used to, when I had to go ice skating, you know, somebody usually had to tie my skates. I couldn't tighten them enough. I couldn't get down there enough. And now I could do that on my own. And it was a small thing, but it was a very big victory. Also, career-wise, it was limiting me for what I could go in for, what I could play. You know, there's only so many roles for the fat best friend. Eventually, you're too fat to play the fat best friend, right? It's, it's helped me in every aspect and just feeling better. There's an extra spring in my step in every way. He's already lost almost about 10 inches on his waist which is amazing. He's lost over 65 pounds. He's got about, what's it, about 35 pounds of lean body mass he's increased. I'm planning on sticking, uh, I'm sticking to everything. I mean, I'm going to Winnipeg in a couple weeks to shoot season three. And the guy who plays my brother is a huge gym freak. So we're gonna go every day to the hotel. Uh, Craft Services has been very supportive. We sent them a copy of uh, George's menu and everything. So they're gonna get me all the stuff I need to get. And I think that's actually gonna be the easiest part because I have a lot of fun when I'm there and it's just, I'm gonna kinda, it's just gonna happen. Jesse's only one of many people who have done this in their lives and there's no reason why anybody else can't. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, like, oh no, I can't do this, I'll never have the body I used to have and that. Look, we're not here at any gym to turn people into Olympic athletes, but you can change your body. You know, if you change your mind, then you can change your body.